Hey everybody, this is Dave Pilkey, and today we are going to learn to draw the Bark Knight and Cat Kid. So, the Bark Knight and Cat Kid, of course, are just Dogman and Little Petey in their costumes, but they're pretty easy to draw. You start out with the basic same shape as Dogman's head, and then we add two big eye holes right here for the little helmet type thing that he wears. Stick his nose there. I always add a little bit of white to the top of his nose so it looks like it's shiny. And then a smile. And uh, put the he helmet on, a little strap. And three dots there. And then two ears coming out the back. So we draw a line down here, and then we'll add his arm here. A lot of people say that they have a hard time drawing hands, but actually hands are pretty easy if you just think of it like the letter U. Everybody can draw the letter U, and each finger is basically the letter U. If you draw four or five in a row, you can get the job done pretty quickly. All right, now we're going to add his belt down here. and circle and then if you add some lines on the belt it, it kind of makes it look like it's a utility belt like it has little compartments in it that's kind of an easy way to add some detail and then we add the bone on his chest and some stitches and then some little bendy macaroni type legs and some big boots here. Now the cape is kind of just a big wavy line or two. And then you add some upside down U's at the bottom. And there you go. Now if you notice, Dogman's head and his body take up just about the same amount of, of room. Characters generally look cuter if they have bigger heads. And the younger they, look, they are, the bigger their head should be. So Dogman's head takes up about half of the space of his body. And little Petey's head takes up about two-thirds of his body. His head is actually bigger than his body. But he's actually pretty easy to draw too. It's just basically lots of circles and he had the eyes and a nose with a, a little bit of white space left in it to make it look shiny. And then we'll fill in his mask here. couple eyebrows and two little triangle ears and he's got three dots back there on his his cheek and let's see oh yeah his whiskers now his body like I said before is is so tiny that so it can be a little tricky to draw so especially when he has these these cat claws on um, now I drew him a little too close to Dogman so I'm not gonna have his claws extended because I, I, I don't want Dogman to get his eye poked out so so little Petey is playing it safe his his claws are retracted but um, got his tail there, and then we just add the stripes. And Little Bee's cape is a lot, just like Dogman's, uh, except it's smaller, and it only has two views at the bottom. 
and then when I color it in I usually leave a little bit of white at the top so it looks like it's got a little bit of shine to it okay so there we go there they are now we'll add the the ground beneath their feet right here and if you want if you want to make your your picture look really dramatic you can add some buildings in the back and what I do is I just make a bunch of rectangles they're they're fairly random and they don't have a whole lot of detail but if you add some windows on either side here and there it looks kind of cool it's a nice dramatic effect it doesn't take very long to do you can even if you want to add some depth you can add a second row of buildings behind the first one and it makes everything pop a little bit better usually the buildings in the back are a little smaller and you can color them in and add a bunch of windows and it almost makes it look a little bit 3d and then at the end you can add a moon and some stars and you're pretty much done all that's left to do is sign your name